Welcome everyone. Uh, to, I have a bird singing behind me all of a sudden. Um, today we are going to do our Aquarius reading for July 2021. Um, I wanted to say 2012 again. This is going to be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, you may have planets in the sign of Aquarius. You may be in love with an Aquarius. I know my daughters have been in love with quite a few Aquariuses. Uh, it just seem, she seems to attract them. Um, or you. She's a Scorpio. Uh, and some of you may not even be an Aquarius. You just feel intuitively guided to the channel. Um, just trust that and welcome. Again, this is for July, but to me, time is fluid. You know, I know for as long as I've been doing this now that these readings find you or you find it, you find each other um, when you need it, uh, no matter how old they are. And matter of fact, there are certain videos that I know are meant to be timeless that I, I'm trying to go back and mark them in that way. You know, I'll still have a date, but that way, if you run across them, because sometimes you watch a, a video and you're, and you're like, wow, that really resonates. And you're like, oh man, you just realize it's like three years old. And then you're like, ah, none of it, none of it applies, but it does. So just trust that. Okay. Time is fluid. You'll be drawn to something um, when the time is right. That's just how I feel. All right. We're going to start with our Mother, Mother Mary Oracle deck. I'm going to bring the lid down a little bit. There you go. We're doing an evening reading, um, which, you know, normally I work during the day, uh, but I, I always enjoy, maybe because I don't do that often, I always enjoy an evening reading. It seems to bring a, a different type of atmosphere with it. Okay. We have integrity. And you saw that. You saw it just kind of shoot out. So uh, to me, it feels very meant to be. Integrity. I trust my ability to know what is true for me. And see how this baby and Mother Mary are connected. Right? They're both connected. Um, always and always will be. You know, Mother Mary loves all the children. And you are um, one of her children. I feel like some of you really connect with Mother Mary. Um, if you know what I mean. And... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it plays in the reading. We'll read it at the end. And um, I can almost promise you it bl it'll blow your mind how the meaning in the card will apply to our reading. You know, right now we have no clue what that reading is going to be. Um, but Mother Mary does. You know, our guides do. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the Tarot of Dreams. We have Judgment. Um, you know, it's pretty powerful energy as your first card because this is about your spiritual team, your ancestors. Um, this is about a rebirth. And, you know, I don't know, when I think of rebirth, I think, okay, well, I've been here before, I've done this before, so if this is asking me to um, look at something, maybe change something, then I can. I know I can, because I have. Um, even if I don't remember it, I feel it. And I feel like, in particular, it's like your ancestors want you to feel that. This is a call to attention. It means um, something's a coming. We have the Eight of Wands. Something's coming fast. That's fast moving energy. 
It's energy also of what I think about, I bring about. Now, I'm not even sure if that's in a book somewhere. It's just how I feel about it. You know, this is a strange comment, but I feel like there's some type of a flock coming together. A flock is coming together. Um, maybe you're leading that flock. Maybe you're a part of it. Uh, maybe it's talking about a soul connection. We'll see. Well, we have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. And then we have the High Priestess, which is beautiful. So, you know... Um, at least on the surface, you look really good right now. Um, I love that we have the Nine of Cups next to the High Priestess. This is your intuition. It's your GPS. It's your spiritual GPS. Um, it's that connection, like that connection I saw with the child and Mother Mary, right? It's your connection to above. It's your connection to your ancestors, your spiritual team, which are always there. And it's interesting because I feel like, you know, like what I think about, I bring about. Um, and I feel like what they're saying is something is coming about quickly. Now, it, it can only be something good because what comes from it is the Nine of Cups. Um, that's very joyful type energy. And it has nothing really to do with anyone but you. It's, um, it's a sense of self-satisfaction. I don't know if that's the right word I wanted to use. Um, Self-fulfillment. Maybe satisfaction. Okay, let's keep going. So, you know, um, you feel like you have the ability at least to be very connected. Then boom. Okay, they're all in reverse. We'll turn them around. We have the Four of Pentacles. That's like your home, your homestead, your roots, where you bank your money. Oh, we have, look at this, the Seven of Pentacles. This is about your soul seed of intention. Um, some of you, I don't know, maybe you're finding a house and... Um, you're being asked to be aware because something may be opening, coming your way. I feel like no matter what, something is coming your way that is bringing you a sense of joy. Um, now, what's coming in is meant to come in because we have the Seven of Pentacles. And um, to me, that's all about your soul's intention, you know, and it's, it's also has the Eight of Wands above it. So when I think about it, bring it back, fast moving energy. Seven of Pentacles, so the difference between these two is the Seven of Pentacles is about patience, right? Letting that seed come to, um, to full harvest. Eight of Wands is the opposite. It's, it's moving quickly. It can be chaotic that it's so quickly. Well, look at this. We have the Ten of Cups. How interesting. Under the Nine of Cups. Well, I mean, what can I say? <laughs> um, it's like one of those seeds are dropping from the tree. And potentially, it just feels like it's taking you from this Nine of Cups. Self-fulfillment. You know, if there's anything I've learned doing tarot and opening myself up spiritually and i should say it's more that than anything um is that our energy and what we put out there is so important because the universe is truly matching it right and oftentimes we're asking for something big something major right um you know love like please bring me someone who's worthy Worthy of what? Worthy of your current vibration? Or do you want something? And maybe that's great. Um, but anyway, that seems what comes back. So what comes out of the Nine of Cups naturally 
is the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> and I love that it's by the Seven of Pentacles. So, something here is meant to happen. Um, judgment is bringing your attention to it. Look at it as your, look at it as your spiritual team. Um, a lot of you, this has something to do even with the home. The high priestess, this is something that um, I feel like you should be feeling. You know, you're kind of connecting it again, maybe spiritually. What I'm thinking about, I'm bringing about. Let's get your last card out. a lot but we'll take them we have the king of swords um potentially gemini libra aquarius another aquarius um someone you're connected to this is probably you i mean clearly you have to be part of this ten of cups we have the five of cups under the four of cups hmm we have the queen of wands Potentially an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I often read them as energy. Then we have the Page of Wands. Coming under the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Let's get the last card. Dang it. There's a lot. But again... You know, it's almost like I feel like when I say that, my guides do that on purpose. Um, but they're all up, so I'm taking them. We have the Two of Swords, and that's going to finish this square. Um, but let's see what else we have. We have the Fool. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. You may be hearing news of someone who has left something behind. This can be you leaving something behind. Um, you know, hearing word. It's almost like I hear word from something from someone, and from there on, I move for you know, I'm I'm moving on. Starting at the full energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, that's kind of beautiful because that's your guardian angel energy. You know, it's just saying your guardian angel watches over you. Um, and in this Knight of Pentacles, you know, this is, you know, I, I mean, you can trust all the knights, but this is the knight I feel like you trust the most. This is a slow moving energy, but it's moving slow on purpose. You know, it is um, evolving and growing as it goes. So, you know, it's about not going from A to Z. Um, this is hitting every every point, every port along the way. <laughs> anyway, this is about a pentacle that's coming into your life. Now, we know that because we have the seven of pentacles um, that produces the ten of cups. We have the Knight of Wands, Ares, Leo, Sagittarius, can be of a younger time. Um, two knights side by side. And then we have the King of Cups, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, you guys all know, for some of you, that's what it is. Um, but for others, it's the energy of. So, I, you know, I want you to understand there's like, I feel like there's multiple layers um, but let's look at this because we have a lot in front of us. You know, we have judgment here opening your reading. That is your spiritual team. That includes this Knight of Pentacles. That is your guardian angel. That includes this connection and Mother Mary, right? This is all of your spiritual team. So we have that powerful energy opening up your reading. But the very last card that comes in this spread is the Two of Swords. So I already know that there's going to be a need to figure out this two of swords before everything else can potentially fulfill itself, let's say. 
So with the two sword up against the high priestess, though, um, you know, this is saying trust your intuition. Could have a mother and son right here. <coughs> I don't know, we have a lot. So let's bring the clarifiers out. But okay, let's look at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords. You know, that's why Judgment is your first card. Because this is the underlying energy. This was what was or could be what is. But the Ten of Swords is about, you know, the danger in here is submitting, being submissive to the energy. Is that the right word? Um, being um, overcome by energy that, you know, is not yours, doesn't belong to you. This is about other people's opinions and ideas of you and what you should be doing, who you should be with, or what's wrong with you. And all these that elements we've taken on, right? We've taken on. Like they're literally piercing the back here, you know, they're not going through the body. They're not truly causing damage. Um, it just feels like it's causing damage. It feels like it, right? Because it, it's, it hasn't pierced the skin. So to me, that means it's surface level issues that can overcome us. And sometimes we just got to either see it, snap out of it, or somehow learn to deal what, you know, why it's here. It kind of makes sense with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords. I feel like this is the leaving of that energy, you know? It's almost, it's too much. Maybe you've been praying about, is it okay? Is it okay for me to leave? Well, I feel like um, if you're around this toxic type energy, you know, the answer is yes. <laughs> It's, it's all right for you to have a good life. Like, it's more than all right. It's like, what is what is yours? But you just have to find it. Okay. Anyway. What do I want to use? Um, let's stick with the Light Seer's deck. I know there's a lot of card, guys. I hope you're okay with that. You know, many of your readers know that you kind of feel, like when you get a lot of cards, you kind of feel what's meant to be and what's like just your human accident. But wow. Um, you know, and it's interesting, that I have a feeling this is going to be a long reading, um, but I want to say that you had the most views last month, so I want to thank you for that. You know, normally I don't even, it's, it's, it's not about that, but I just noticed it, you know. So I feel like I have to thank you for that. Look at this. We have the four swords. So this is healing, right? Um, this may talk about it, a, a period of time that you took from this ten of swords before you moved into maybe your own, like, sense of independence in however that is. You know, the Nine of Cups is about emotional fulfillment. Um, but the Swords is like mental. Mental. So, here's the healing. You know, you have Mother Mary. I'm sorry, you just keep saying that name, but I'm feeling that connection, uh, especially coming over Judgment. More than that, I feel like, if you're, again, your whole spiritual team. So... Maybe you're in that energy right now. I almost feel like you're nesting. That's what she looks like she's doing. She's nesting. Like her, her heart is outside of herself. Maybe I gave my heart away. We have the Empress. Interesting. That can certainly speak of pregnancy. Um, maybe in August, maybe sooner than expected. Though, you know, 
everything feels fine in that. Isn't it interesting, though, if you are pregnant and you're due soon? Um, I feel like in how Mother Mary's energy is here, it just feels kind of beautiful. We have the magician. Dun, 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 dun. The magician. Look at it. The magician is active. Pouring his thoughts down right over this Nine of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. And then we have the chariot. Hmm. Interesting. You know, some of you may still be back at that ten of swords in that heavy type energy. Again, it feels outside yourself, but it certainly does affect you, right? But it's not it's not piercing the skin, which means it's on a surface level to me, which means it's it's like there in your mind to find, to figure, and then because sometimes you have to look at the source of the words that hurt you. Like, who gave you, you know, even if it's like a mother or father, it still doesn't make it true. Um, but anyway, so I do feel like, you know, there is that need to see it and then let it go. Um, because, you know, what's happening is happening in the present moment. It's not happening in the past. It's not about the future. It's about now. Something now. Um, and, and I feel that, like, with the Eight of Wands next to it. Like, this is fast moving. Don't fear it, because whatever this is, again, I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is bringing it in. It's part of the Seven of Pentacles, so whatever it is... I can trust it. It is, um, doesn't mean it doesn't have lessons attached or challenges to overcome. But when I'm doing it from, let's say, the High Priestess instead of the Nine of Swords that moves into the Ten of Swords, um, I have different outcomes. I look at, I have different perspectives. It depends on how I choose to look at a situation. You know, the Ten of Swords, I almost feel like I'm being submissive because man, I don't feel a way out. Um, but I can tell you, there's always a way out. And I don't know what your way out is. And I feel like your lesson is to find that, right? To each their own. We each have that. And we each, you know, I mean, I think of some very difficult situations I've been in. But now that I'm outside of that, um... I see the mistakes that I made. I see the fool that I was, that type of thing. Um, but that's okay because now I know it. Now I don't have to be it anymore. Now I don't accept, you know, that type of energy anymore. Maybe that's why integrity is also out. And I'm only talking that way because the Nine of Swords is here. So I feel that heaviness of, you know... Other people, again, how I keep saying surface, the Nine of Swords is unnecessary worry. Um, in the Lightseer's deck, I often feel like she's feeling doomed. Like, oh, if I do something, it'll be doomed. And it's just not true. It's just the way you're seeing it. But you're seeing it due to, you know... Hmm. I don't know. I don't even know how to say it. So maybe I'll just wait a moment. Um. So we have the chariot. Chariot coming over this four of pentacles. Some of you. Oh, you know, I just realized we have a four and a four. Um. This chariot can be movement. Moving out of it's interesting because it's in line with the ten of swords So it may be moving away from that some of you it may be moving away from a home Maybe that's the only way something can happen <coughs> Some of you I feel like are finding a home though
Chariot is the card of Cancer, by the way. We have the Nine of Wands, which is really perfect energy to come up right now because this Nine of Wands talks about, um, you know, this is about gaining your spiritual muscles. So, you know, you can, um, you can overcome anything. This talks about the strength that one's gained through their journeys and through their discovering of it and understanding it. Um, and then allowing it to become part of, not like a wall, but part of your spiritual growth. You know, she feels like she's standing very tall and very proud. Even if she may, you know, be a little worn from the journey. Okay. We have the moon. Um, ruler of Cancer, by the way. And I'm only saying that because we have the chariot right over there too. A card of Pisces. We have the sun. Look at that. We have the moon and the sun. That can certainly be a symbol of a twin flame. You know, there's all kind of beliefs on twin flames. Um, I'm just very open. You know what I mean? I feel like different situations for different twins. I don't feel like each twin is going to be the same, period. Um, but I do feel, the one thing I do feel is the twins come to this world um, to separate and to each live their own personal individual lives um, to gain their own individual experiences many times you know when you end up with the twin um, you find that you may have lived like parallel lives and what I mean by that is you know um, I found that with Sam and I, like, you know, when he was celebrating, not celebrating, when he was, um, mourning a death, there was a birth in my family or, you know, we both had like very hard times at, at the same time. Um, so anyway, I feel like my belief is that's important for that to happen. And I just feel like, you know, when you find each other, you find each other. Um, but that doesn't guarantee anything e either because there still are, you know, you're learning how to be the best you in a relationship and you're taking on the challenge of doing that together. But first, those experiences mean a lot. You know why? Because that's where you really learn empathy and compassion is through your experiences, through that difficult, those difficult times. So we need to come into love with compassion and empathy um or it's going to be a hard ride anyway i'm just saying the sun and the moon is here wow um we have leo and pisces side by side we have the three of wands interesting three of wands coming over the five of cups i don't even know if i talked about this line so the five of cups is someone that i'm missing um, but this is where my focus is at. This Five of Cups talks about focusing on what I have lost. The Three of Wands, interesting enough, is the perfect card because it says focus on what can be, not what you have lost. What can be? What, what can be? Um, in the Five of Cups, it's five. So it, it's asking for change. When change is asked for, that means you got to take a second and look at, okay, what does it want me to change? Well, it's where your focus is at. And if my focus is on what I've lost instead of what can be, um, then perhaps that is what I keep manifesting to me. Hmm. We have the Emperor, Card of Aries. We have the Eight of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Someone's, you know, maybe I'm afraid someone's going to run away. Maybe someone ran away before and now I'm afraid everyone's going to run away. Right? But that's that's a fear within. Now, can be based on real experiences, but in the same breath. I mean, I get it. I get it. 
Um, but if someone runs away, you know, you learn sooner or later, let them run away. They weren't yours anyway then. <clears throat> and really, maybe they did you a favor because maybe what's really meant to be will now come in, right? There has to be room for it. So, I don't know, guys. Um, this emperor here, you know, he can be an, he can be a business owner. He can be a leader, leader of the people. Um, he's very chilled out, though. So what I like about the Lightseer's deck is they're very, they're all pretty much chilled out. Um, but he's very wise. You know, it's interesting how here I felt, you know, maybe some are being called to be a leader. That would take the Emperor's energy, which we all have. Um, but still, the energy of the Eight of Swords next to that says, uh, uh, I fear it. You know, again, I have to point down to here of, you know, we're I'm focusing on what I have lost. Now I need to start focusing on what can be. Um, I feel like with the sun here, you know, the sun illuminates everything for you. So nothing's hidden in the dark, even if that's what you fear. You know, that even means your guidance, like your spiritual guidance. You know, you're wondering, what do I do next sometimes? And ask your guides, close your eyes, listen, pay attention, pay attention to something, something different. You know what I mean? Like, you'll know, you'll see the sign. And when you see it, acknowledge it. Be like, oh, thank you. Because the more that you trust in your own clarity within that, knowing that, it, yeah, okay, that is a sign. Um, I feel like the clearer they come, Truly, you just feel guided. So, anyway, nothing's going to hide in the dark within the sun here. Even the moon is here. Um, it doesn't matter. You know, the moon casts shadows. Well, the sun will um, outdo that. And it's interesting. I feel like um, one of the reasons why I'm in the Eight of Swords energy, which is really like a self-created prison, right? I'm trying to protect myself, um, is because of the moon. So, it's it's can be doubt, right? Doubt. Maybe I doubt that I can do something. I can create something. I can create this Nine of Cups for myself. Well, this is saying you can, right? But there can't be a blindfold, that's for sure, right? Everything must be in the light. What happens in the dark will come to the light. And I feel like some of you are asking for, like you're asking yourself for permission to live the life that you want to live right here's the fool and right away the ace of sword shows up for the fool immediately you know truth honesty communication what's under it the guardian who guardian angel you know you're the fool right here's a guardian angel almost like carrying you somewhat somewhat right the knight of wands coming into that so that's that's a lot of passion rushing in so this can talk about, you know, we do have the nine going into the ten of cups. So ultimately, this can talk about um, what for, to me feels like true love. I just have to say the progression of it and what's around it, um, even if it has challenges. I feel like over here, there's a lot of passion rushing in with this pentacle. Um, and part of that, now I have the king of cups. And the king of cups is the king that would show when um, one wants to be in a relationship. This king values love. Uh, looking right at the chariot. You know, in the chariot, it really is a sense of a reward. So it's a job well done. It's a balance. And by the way, it's also the balance of the divine feminine and divine masculine. Or the feminine and the masculine. Um, your higher, your, or your light and your dark. All that just balance it's not like you know oh I gotta get rid of all my dark I'm gonna get rid of it it's part of who I am um, but I control me right I control me <coughs> 
sorry. Seems to be like a lot of cars here tonight. So anyways, guys, wow. Um, let me see if I pick anything else up. There just is a lot of cards. You know, I definitely feel the fear of maybe not doing something because someone may have ran, you know, it does feel like, you know, they kind of ran um, before, you know, that was them and that was before. Um, now, if it's them coming back in, you know, here's the sun. Um, ask those hard questions, like ask them, right? Ask, ask, and, um, you know, I feel like some of you are wondering if you'll be able to get someone off your mind or you maybe just get them off your back. I feel like, yes, but it will take your action. It does take your action. And for some that may mean to move, right? Sometimes we fight and I don't, and listen, I know there's different scenarios for everyone, but sometimes we gotta we gotta look at what we're fighting for. Does it mean what I you know? It, it, and here's why: because often in a reading, I'll see where someone had a ten of pentacles and then it was taken, but then I see it later in the reading replaced. So you know, in a different way, uh, maybe in a in a much more loving type way, right? Because again, the nine of cups after the change into the ten of cups starts with you your energy and by the way the magician's right over that saying that some of you are wondering you're wondering about your intuition you're questioning it um trust it put it to the test give it a test you know what i mean um you can say you know spirit guides if you're really with me you know show give me your name um, if you keep seeing a name over and over again, well, that's one of your guys' names. I feel like through numbers, you get a lot of messages too. That's why I really pay attention to the numbers. You know, I do see two nines, and that is about the final reflection, right? So that I can move out of that energy. So some of you are really um, kind of doubting your intuition, and I know why. Hmm. There's the Queen of Cups. Here's the King of Cups. Interesting. This may be a split for some. That may be what you're asking yourself. Um, you know, sometimes we want it, sometimes we don't want it. But the tr but truth be told, it will always lead us to some. If it's toxic to us, you know, even if something's toxic, it doesn't make it easy to leave, right? It, change is hard, um, but. I feel like it's never as hard as we imagine that it will be. Why? Well, because, you know, spirits got your back. They are helping you. They're sending you signs. You know, something is saying, come to the present moment. Don't worry about the past. Um, that type of energy always being revealed. You have been here before, I feel like. Um, you know, you have done this before. You know, here's the Empress and the Emperor, I just realized. You have the nine of wands right between them, right? This means that the two, like both of them have learned through this nine of wands energy. This is focus also. This is keeping my focus. Um, this is a sense of, you know, I feel like responsibility. But I feel like, you know, this is talking about, I just have to say, I hate to keep mixing a twin flame in here. And by the way, it doesn't even have to be a twin flame. I'm just saying that because that energy in the cards is here. Um, but this is about love, I feel. Because we have the Emperor and the Empress. And I do feel like how I was saying they were kind of mirroring each other. They'll have similar experiences. Well, there you go. Um, but both learning from them. Gaining, evolving from them. Right? On that sea, on that tree. On that tree. So, I think I'm going to leave it there. No, I'm going to read Integrity first. I feel like I just went all around, but understand that. When I read, I don't read just line by line. I read it all. It's like it jumps out and makes a story for me. And there is always more than one. Okay, Integrity. 
You drew this card because the situation you're asking about involves someone's integrity. This card comes as guidance to pay aware, whoop, to pay attention to your body's signals because you can sense whether someone is being honest. Mother Mary is a wonderful role model of gently and lovingly demanding that others live truthfully. You can do the same with the people in your life. You can also avoid those who aren't acting with integrity. Either way, trust your gut feelings to steer you towards individuals who tell the truth and who walk their talk. This card also asks you to tell the truth yourself, even if you're uncomfortable with the possible reaction. Prayer can guide your words, give you courage to speak up, and help create a healthy atmosphere of honest communication. Wow. Dun -dun. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, as always, I just want to thank you. Um, it seems like there's a lot to absorb. This may be one of those readings where you may want to come back and revisit it. You know, you'll, you'll recognize it. Oh, boy, I'm starting to feel that energy. Come back. You may see it in a whole new light. Um, you know, I feel like that's how spirit works with. You know, you'll see what you see now, and then you'll see what you need to see later. <laughs> anyway. You know, I feel like give birth to those ideas. Some of you, I want to say congratulations. I feel like you're going to have a child. Um, it feels quite beautiful. I just have to say, I feel um, very connected. Hmm. Interesting. So, some of you may be dealing with a twin flame. Um, I want you to know, though, you know, your intuition is trying to reach you. And this Nine of Swords can act as a block right but the energy is unnecessary that is the that is the meaning of that card right it's unnecessary worry it's worrying about what i can't control right instead of being the magician starting at the at at the beginning starting at point a and i'll create as i go right that way i can keep it clean if that's what i'm looking for i can keep it you know clear i can keep it light I can create it as I go, of course, with the help of source, but your energy pay is, is important. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, you know, I feel like here comes the Knight of Pentacles. It's bringing something in. This is again, where your ancestors are calling you to attention. Um, some of you may have been in like time out. For a while, it may be time to come out. Listen, if nothing else, you've learned how to be the empress. And that means that you now carry the wisdom of all of the queens, right? You just need to know that. Know that, right? You've been here before. You've walked this walk before. Um, you've succeeded before. You've failed before, you know, but you got back up. The queen, I'm sorry, the empress and the emperor connected. They are connected. And by the way, if I move off to the side, is the moon and the chariot. If I move, or the moon and the sun, if I move over here, it's the chariot. So, I'm going to leave it there. I don't know why I just started doing your, re your reading again. Um, I feel like just be honest with yourself in what it is you want. And then um, allow yourself to be guided towards it. Anyway. I love you guys. I will um, see you soon. And thanks again for um, the highest views. <laughs> I will. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.